I'm a special one. I decided I was right. <laughs> Welcome back to Omnifoot TV, this is your host Omar speaking and today's video is about Stephen Gerrard moving to Aston Villa. Now, I didn't expect this, to be genuinely honest. I'm happy about this decision, I think it's a good decision, I think it's logical, it's rational. Uh, he's taking steps up the ladder, no disrespect to the SPL at all, I love Scottish football. I actually, I've actually followed Rangers for a very long time, I've always tuned in whenever the Old Firm Derby has been on. It's always been one of the most uh, important football games I've ever watched growing up. And uh, I followed Rangers even after they went into administration and relegated and had to climb back up to the first year of Scottish football. And then I was enamored and, well, I don't think enamored is the right word, more so bewildered with what Jared actually did at the club. I was ecstatic, I was happy for the Rangers fans. Ending a season undefeated, winning the title again for the first time in a very, very long time. It's just, it's something special. Watching celebrations go on. I wrote an article on it for Omnifoot as well, on, on our Instagram account. It was uh, quite special to me, honestly. Just, there are some things in football that live on in your memory despite the fact that it may not necessarily be the main club that you support but there are certain victories in the sport that just they warm your heart in a way and what Jared did with Rangers was exactly that for me I was really happy about it I was proud of what that team had accomplished and I honestly had a feeling that it would go that well especially like ever since I saw the kit trailer like the trailer for the kit reveal the club released before last season, like at the beginning of the season. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, this is going to be something special. This season is going to be something special. There was a certain energy around it, and I could feel it. And I think that moving to Villa, who I believe most people thought were going to be contenders for a top four finish after how they did last season with the, uh, with the squad that they have, I personally didn't think Dean Smith would last long in the job. No disrespect to him at all as well. But I think that Gerard is an upgrade in a sense. An up-and-coming manager. Someone who has much more potential. Someone who's uh, ready to take on life in the Premier League. On the, on the touchline. There's something special that's going to be brewing at Villa Park with him in charge. And... Best case scenario, I think that he could elevate the club in more than one area the more he stays there. Given that his results are positive throughout his tenure. And I'm honestly excited about this. I mean, we, are, we already have Vieira managing Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace is doing a great job. Now we have Gerard and Villa. And... Talk was going, or word was out, rumors were spreading that Lampard could take over at Norwich, which I don't necessarily see happening, but that's another story. In regards to Gerard, however, everyone's been talking about him possibly doing well at Villa and then going to Liverpool later on when Klopp resigns, which is way too far-fetched in my humble opinion. It might happen, sooner or later. It might genuinely happen where he takes over at the Cup. But that would depend on how well he does at Villa and if he truly measures up in that sense. Because managing in the Premier League is very different to managing in Scotland. He's in for a very... Uh, I'm not going to say rude awakening because it's not that. And he's different. But he's in for a challenge unlike anything he's felt or seen. And he's in for a standard that he as a player was familiar with but he as a manager... Not so much. And I guess all I'm going to say to leave you with the end of this video is that this is good for the league. It's good for Gerard. It's good for Villa. It's good for the league. Excitement. Curiosity. You know, that's always a good thing. Especially in football. And that's it for today's video. Uh, just going to let you all know all the links to our social media accounts are in the description below if you'd like to follow us on Twitter and Instagram for our English content. Our Arabic content is on Facebook and we have an Arabic YouTube channel as well. Uh, <laughs> thanks.
Thank you all for tuning in to this video. It was a joy making it. Please leave a comment below, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time the whistle blows. Cheers, everyone. Thank you for watching.